right, fans, here we go. Now in the cage, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Lee McCurry. And now, introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing black trunks. He is training out of King's MMA in Huntington Beach by way of Long Beach, California. He weighed in 159 pounds. His record, one win, no losses. With that win, coming by way of stoppage, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Ricky the Butcher, Bossy Brady. His opponent across the cage on my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing black trunks. He is training out of Matador Training, Burbank, California. He weighed in 159 pounds. His record, one win, two losses. With that win, coming by way of stoppage, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Brady Barrett. All right, fans, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. Right, we've got Brady Barrett versus Ricky Brady. Ricky Brady. Ricky Brady in the blue. Brady Barrett in the red. Got it. These guys look like they've been ready to fight for several hours. Probably have. And that's what I mean. <laughs> They're getting after it right away. Ricky Brady really uh, forcing the cage control, pushing uh, Barrett up against the cage. Nice knee to the sternum. He's looking at, he's loading up that left knee again, referee making sure it's not gonna be low. First one was clean. Tried to sag him down there, couldn't get it done. And now it's Brady Barrett in on a takedown. Yep. Nice job. Oh, he's sucking a guillotine. Oh, that's high tight. And pushes it over oh, the belt. this is bad news and he's mounted. Oh, wow, this is really bad for Barrett. He's got one hand in, it's the only thing keeping him alive. He's going to lose this guillotine. He's out. And he's going to lose the position as well. No, nope, the guillotine's back in. Is it? Nope, it's out. Okay. But he does maintain mount. He might lose the back. No, he's got one hook. Really headhunting with that guillotine. Now, he may be in trouble getting his back taken. He doesn't have an underhook. Yeah, Ricky going for more like a modified Kesakatami, but doesn't even have the near side arm. And, <laughs> no, now he does, but now, yeah, and he gives his back from it. Oh, oh, I don't know if he went for that arm or if he just lost position. Nearly puts himself in a triangle, but uh, does pull uh, Brady over the top. Pretty wild exchange. Covered in sweat. Bit of a height disparity here. Yeah. Ricky's standing up real tall too. He's got that crazy, oh, got that crazy look in his eyes. Yeah, they're both swinging for it too. Yeah. He, he really Ooh. wants to land that or that that home run shot, but he's he's telegraphing. It's very hard to score the knockout when you're trying to score the knockout. 
it looked low and well, went yeah, high. Look, yeah. <laughs> All the schoolyard tactics. Right. I like it. Shoes untied. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's going for the front headlock here. Looks like he really wants this guillotine. Headlock tries I was, to snap him down. I was literally just going to say, I'm, I bet he tries to snap down, and he did, but just slid right off of him. This is a wild one. Oh, good knee tap, though, from uh, Barrett. Yeah, but Brady's sprawl is too strong. Even with the, does he have double double overs, or is it he's got one across the neck? It's one, one across the neck. Okay. Yeah, but, but Barrett's doing a good job of hand fighting, and that's why he's unable to really find anything from that front headlock position. Oh, nice right hand. He's gonna, I, th I see a head kick coming. Nice. And yeah, Brady is looking for that one punch KO body kick. There's a big power shot. Barrett rolled with it. It's the only reason it didn't land flush. Oh, oh keeps hitting with that too. Good sprawl though. Yeah, Barrett just doesn't quite believe in the double leg enough. Like he's getting he there. He nearly and then, had it. Yeah, right. the hands were nearly around the uh, the legs. Well, that's got to be. I mean, that's that's two rounds for uh, for Ricky. Yep, I agree. <laughs> Ricky's corner seems to agree too. Starts right in there. Very happy. Yeah, I'm trying to see who he's got because he's listing King's MMA. But I don't know if I recognize his corner man. I'm trying to get a good look at him. That's, yeah, this listed as King's Huntington. Is that the HQ? That's the headquarters. Yep. Rafael Cordero and everybody else. Round three, Barrett's got to do something big here. Objectively down two rounds to nothing. Corner, corner. Catches the kick, I mean, he eats it, but still catches it. Barrett, Barrett's corner is calling for him to jab, but he's giving up reach and height. It's you know, difficult to get to the opponent. He was able to get the fight to the ground here. Let's see what he could do. Needs to pass and, and do damage. Ricky looking to butterfly sweep to his left, but gets put flat on his back, so it's going to be difficult. Oh, oh, here he's got an underhook. Now he's if he can get to his left hip, he's in he's a good position. Got it. Yeah, there, there it goes. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. nicely done. A la Gordon Ryan. He's going to stuff that leg now and put him in an uncomfortable half guard with an underhook. Yep, got him pushed off to the far side, which is really bad. Yeah. Gonna look to punch with our right hand. It's like Mir uh, Brock Lesnar. That's how Lesnar finished Mir was basically from that position. He had him under the head and cupped the armpit, was just mashing him when he was up on his side. Looking for the guillotine again. You can finish it from here. You can you can fall off to your side. It's kind of like a almost like a Japanese necktie, but yeah. Most people do not have a great technique on that one. Correct. But yeah, it, that's high level. It's, it's a very technical My, joke, Myself included. <laughs> it's not my bread and butter. Definitely possible to finish, though. Trying to hip heist to mount, couldn't get it. Yeah, I thought maybe he was going to step over into omoplata or triangle, but now on the back. Just really kind of running a clinic here on the ground. Barrett has no answer. Yeah, this one's just about over. With no rounds going to Barrett. He's trying to, a couple seconds left. Uh, he wanted to perhaps throw down one last time, but he's not going to get that wish granted. That'll be a decision victory for Ricky Brady, I have to imagine. Yeah, positional domination from, uh, from Ricky. We've got some twerking going on in the audience. Keeping it classy over here at Commerce. That's how we do.
and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our scorecards. We have our decision. All three judges cage side scored about 30 to 27 in favor of our winner. By unanimous decision, he is still undefeated, the blue corner, Ricky the Butcher, Bussy Brady. Ricky will advance to 2-0. Yep, Barrett falls to 1-3.